few days after the drama over the ruling on Lekki Tollgate reopening, the judicial panel of inquiry holds sitting again, uh, featuring testimonies of the alleged victims of the disbanded special anti-robbery squad SARS and the council representing the Lagos government, Lukayo de Eniton, who have begged the panel for pardon over his actions on Saturday. Our uh, correspondent Jacita Obuku has more. The sitting begins with the council representing Lagos State Government expressing regret for walking out on the panel during the chaos that ensued as the panel majority ruled on repossession of Lake Toll Gate Plaza by LCC. The entire atmosphere was rancorous, and um, I personally, having spoken to my learned brother, so. I stepped out of the proceedings because it was most unheard of. And unfortunately, in getting across my point, I had to step out of the road. And for that, I apologize to everyone. I must get to my the hearing continues as one Akimade Akinwalabu, who narrated how the disbanded special anti robbery squad allegedly detained and tortured him unlawfully. Of, oh yeah, operatives from the federal SAS came in. I could identify them because of the uniform they were wearing. And they just walked past me straight to the person they were looking for. They asked him questions, and the next thing they started beating him. Of course, naturally, I got up to leave. They insisted that everybody there must stay. And um, subsequently, um, came to me, I asked um, what the problem was. That was when the beating started. I was punched in the face. Um, the butt of um, a pistol was smashed on my head by an operative called um, Iku Kenny. I was made to kneel down. Mr. Akinro Labu, demanding justice, also alleged the disbanded SAS cursed the death of his wife. One of them came and um, smashed, I think, a two-by-two two plank on the table right behind her. And she fainted as a result of the fact that she hit her head on the table and ultimately that was what led to the death of my wife. This case and the cases by other testifiers were adjourned February 26, March 2nd, and 5th, 2021, respectively. Jacinta Ubuku reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.